Hello and welcome gorgeous Gemini to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. Just take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Let's take a look at your first card, Gemini. Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So there is, there is a situation that you're needing to accept at the moment and it may be difficult, it may be difficult to accept where you are at at this moment or what has happened or what maybe there is some fear about the future, about what is going to happen. But there is a surrender that needs to take place because Spirit's saying with this card, in fact, you're not able to change the situation. It is not up to you to change a situation. And so going with the flow and not fighting whatever this situation is for you is going to be the best course of action. It will bring you peace. So place that energy where it fits in your life, Gemini, and surrender resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. So there is there is a need, Gemini, to surrender any resentments that you have. And I am seeing for some that you are just becoming aware of where these feelings stem from. And forgiveness definitely needs to come into the equation. And it will help you keep moving forward ultimately in your own life if you're able to embrace these energies. So let's see what this deck reveals for you, Gemini. This is a chakra deck. So let's see what chakras to focus on this week. This one here I feel is yours, which is the throat chakra. Transmutation is the key word. I release the negative thoughts and expectations of myself, others, and the world. It is easy for me to transform negative beliefs and expectations into positive and supporting ones. And so I do. I recognize the power of my thoughts and words as they vibrate through the universe, creating my future reality. What I'm seeing, Gemini, is that you are at an interesting point right now in your life because you get to... Create your future in, a, in some way and some, by something that maybe you're going to be saying or something you're going to, or your thoughts perhaps, um, communication or your thoughts are the, the things of importance here and, and they will create your reality in the future. So there's a manifestation ability I'm seeing here with this card and energy. So release the negative thoughts that have been surrounding you and expectations as well. That is really important of yourself and others as well. And transformation of negative beliefs into positive supporting beliefs is important. And your next chakra card is the heart chakra, compassion. Opening up your heart to compassion this week. I see all things through eyes of love in my heart. I find compassion and understanding for those who are struggling and misaligned with themselves, their higher wisdom and purpose. I am kind and compassionate with myself and others and forgive myself for my judgments. I am compassionate, that's the affirmation. If that resonates, if this whole card resonates for you, you can certainly use this affirmation in the week ahead. 
So there's a, a consciousness or a conscious awareness of seeing with eyes of love through your heart towards someone that perhaps you have had a struggle with or there's a resentment toward and that can be difficult for sure but with these cards coming up spirit is saying to me that you will be able to transform this energy in this relationship guidance for gemini please spirit this card here is yours Food on roots, respect, survival, liberation, and freedom. I feel that you're at a precipice. You are knowing that there is something more out there for you, or there's a new thing you're going to be focusing on, a new energy that you're going to be focused on, have an, an intention toward very soon. And this is where freedom comes into play. It will feel like a, a new day. It will feel like a new situation is coming. There may be a situation in your life where you're going to need respect from someone who may not be giving it to you at the moment. And we have the energy of roots and this feels like family. So family, someone in your family perhaps has not been giving you the respect or maybe the freedom that you deserve. Cycle of life, night magic, crossroads, and letting go. Now, this card is connected into the surrendering resentments, and so I can see a crossroads and also a letting go of of this resentment or this heavy emotion, this burden that you have on your shoulders, when you let this go, this will be such a relief. There is a cycle of life that's surrounding you in your situation at the moment. So it does speak to that new cycle, that new day, that new phase in your life that's coming up relatively soon for you maybe within the next six months actually I'm, I'm being drawn to that number so let's see what this deck reveals guidance for Gemini please spirit get into nature coexistence gather and limit waste you're becoming more resourceful. You're becoming more resourceful in one way or another in your life. And of course, it will be different for everyone how this is manifesting in your life, but you're definitely becoming more resourceful. And there's a deeper appreciation for things as well. Deeper appreciation for a relationship, perhaps, or what you have in your life. So you're counting your blessings or the blessings that you have around you. Enjoy new beginnings, celebrate, socialize and change is on the way. Enjoy new beginnings and this new beginning looks like the transition will take place within this six month period of time. A new cycle is, is starting to take place. And you're ready for this is what I'm being told by spirit. Let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Gemini, please, spirit. This one here is yours, the star. And the star speaks of healing. So if you're in need of emotional, perhaps psychological, uh, psychological or maybe physical healing, it is here for you in the week ahead. Look to the future with hope and optimism. The power of faith to move mountains. Happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. So we have that energy once again showing up in this read for you that there will be happy changes and these changes will be the new beginning. And it will bring a relief from any challenging or difficult times that you've been going through in some way in your life. 
the two of winter. Indecision is holding you back. So maybe this week there is a decision that needs to be made, a definite, very decisive decision. You're in control of this. Someone may be looking to you to make a decision. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. So it's all about you being strong in yourself and doing what is best for you. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. So that may also ring true for you. The five of spring, opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others and overly ambitious people may surround you perhaps. There is an opposing force, maybe a person, a family member, your significant other, but there is a battle of wills or ego that I'm seeing here in this card. Because the star is above it, I, and also it's connected into surrendering resentments, it looks like you will be able to have some sort of resolution and, and a letting go of negative energy in this relationship for healing. The King of Autumn. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way. A good person or company to work for. So when it comes to work, when it comes to your career, it looks like it's moving in the right direction. Maybe a new beginning for you personally might be resonating in terms of work or career. But it's important. The overall energy here is speaking of being assertive and being confident in your knowledge and knowing what is right for you. The two of summer, falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone, forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up, your relationship can be healed. So there is promise here in a relationship that you may be worried about because this is what the nine of winter is about. It's about unfounded fear, focusing on worst case scenarios, what are you focusing on the worst case scenario about Gemini? It's time to surrender to what is and release this fear, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. So just keep your thoughts and worries in check. So let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you would like to ask spirit through the pendulum, then you can think of that question now and we will receive an answer. And the answer is yes. So of course, check in with your own intuition and see how that resonates for you and the question that you have just asked about. So I hope spirit has come through clearly for you and you understand the messages that are meant for you today through this reading. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.